okay this excel worksheet i'm going to share today is a design of two-way slab by moment coefficient method so it starts with the input for slab geometries span length at the longer longer span and uh, span length at the shorter span so there's a little computation for the minimum thickness of the slab but in this case I will be inputting the thickness of the slab manually here in H use and then considering one meter strip and the cover of 20 millimeters so here I also input the concrete and reinforcement properties the yield strength of steel compressive strength of concrete beta 1 for the stress block ratio compressive strain in concrete strength reduction factor for moment and strength reduction factor for shear and as well as the unit weight of concrete which is uh, typically around 23 and a half kilonewton per cubic meter or 24 now the design data I'm going to use is for uh, ultimate floor load that means we're, we're going to employ this formula right here 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load now the dead load consists of self weight finishes partitions and uh, the like so you may want to check every time for any uh, dead load but commonly these are all these three are the persistent dead loads you're going to include now in this case the live load I'm using here is 2.4 um, but floor live load you can refer to the table 205 of the National Structural Code of the Philippines or the NCP 2015 so for basic floor load in residential use that would be around 1.9 kilopascal so in this case this is for office use so I inputted 1.4 kilopascal now this is the fun part here because I this is as what I have said this is a design of two-way slab using moment coefficient method now in moment coefficient method the input for your moment coefficients would depend on the location of your uh, slab along the grid lines of your uh, floor layout so in this case we have nine cases so I say in a comment right here broken line is the continuous side so meaning uh, this has no broken line so that means there is no continuous side that's for case one now if you click this case two if you choose that so all of the sides are in dotted lines that means all sides are continuous that means this uh, type of slab is an interior slab and you can choose also the this one and uh, as what I have said there are nine choices right here so you just you may want to choose which one which case are you designing right so let's say you're designing case number uh, yeah case number four so the ratio between 
the short side and the long side is 0 0.4 so um, in this case just choose the closest uh, value of m so this is an incremental uh, value of 0 0.05 so there is no 0 0.74 closest value is 0 0.75 so let's click that and these are the moment coefficient results if you wonder where these results are coming from this is uh, from the tabulation right here at the bottom so these are the uh, moment coefficient table so I just tie that there at the bottom of this excel worksheet so that is these are the moment coefficient you're going to use in computing the ultimate moments along the long span as well as the short span so you, you may need to calculate at edge span and at interior span for both the ultimate moments along the short and long span so in this computation right here this is for the computation of the required tension steel at supports for top bars at long span and in this uh, right portion right here is the computation of the required tension steel at the supports top bars at the short span so I input uh, input values are highlighted in yellow so in this case I am, I am using a 10 milli rebar diameter so that would mean effective depth of a uh, beam is 75 milli and these computations right here are already uh, in the formula so you just want to look at this spacing used so in this case if I am using a 10 milli rebar diameter I need a 170 spacing at the long spot for top bars but if I say let's uh, try 12 milli so that would give me a 245 milli spacing but usually I'm using only a 10 milli diameter that because that is only for uh, slabs invitation here is for bottom bars for long span and short span I am also checking here calculate moment capacity and the utilization ratio so I also check section behavior if it is tension control so that is very all very important also and all of the uh, comprehensive computations when you are designing a singly reinforced beam so I made a sketch for uh, detailing of these slabs especially for the reinforcement spacing so this is for the longer span and then this one is for the shorter span so the spacing and the location of rebars are indicated there yep that's pretty much it this is how I am uh, calculating or doing the design of a two-way floor slab design using the moment coefficient method all right so that's it for now and see you again on the next video